A local boxing legend is now at the center of a police investigation. And we first brought you the story as breaking news at noon on WPRI 12. A man accuses Vinny Paz of assaulting him. The former boxer has taken to social media to defend himself tonight while a warrant remains out for his arrest. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin joins us in studio with the new developments. Caroline. Well, Shannon and Mike, a black guy, several missing teeth, bite marks and lacerations. That's what one Providence man says Vinny Paz left him with after an alleged altercation early this morning morning. There's an arrest warrant out for Paz tonight who now faces a charge of felony assault. Seven hours since issuing an arrest warrant, Providence police still looking for Vinnie Paz. The Rhode Island boxer accused of assaulting a man at a Hawkins Street apartment early Tuesday morning. Bottom line is I got robbed and when that happens you got to do what you got to do. That's all Paz had to say when Eyewitness News attempted to speak with him outside his home earlier today. Tonight, Paz has continued tweeting out about his innocence, calling into question the character of his alleged victim, saying, quote, tried to help someone and I'm now the bad guy. Rap sheet, I get robbed and I'm the victim and the media wants to side with liar thief. Okay, used to it. I'm friends with the guy that apparently uh, supposedly be a victim. That guy is 34-year-old Nathaniel Lavoie. According to a report, Providence police were called to Hawkins Street early Tuesday morning for an alleged altercation between Lavoie and Paz. Lavoie says the former boxer accused him of breaking into his home and stealing $16,000. After the alleged fight, police say Paz fled in a black Jeep with his girlfriend. Bye bye. A similar scene outside Paz's home on Tuesday afternoon. Providence police say Lavoie and Paz are friends. Neighbors on Hawkins Street telling us they've seen the two together before, also backing up Paz's alleged actions. The man hasn't been uh, boxing and doing anything great in a while. That's a lot of money to be missing. Now, we attempted to speak with Paz again tonight after he continued tweeting out about the incident. He never answered us, but in the last hour, he tweeted out, talk to my lawyer, that's simple. We also attempted to speak with the alleged victim earlier today, but he had no comment. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.